I am loving. I am fabulous. I am beautiful. I am saved. I am a victor. I am faithful. I am devout. I am accepted. I am a Christian. I am MCC. And I am MCC. I am MCC. I am MCC. And I am MCC. 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 We light the first candle of Advent, and may its light be a prayer of and for hope for ourselves and the world. Let us pray. Eternal One, we know you listen to our prayers. You know the secrets of our hearts and see the tears of our eyes. Enkindle in us the spark of hope, and may that hope move us to take the steps toward your promised future. This is our prayer, and may our prayer be our action in the name of all that is loving and holy, and in Christ Jesus who brings the light of hope. Amen. Our contemporary reading is taken from selected excerpts from the reflections of Jared McKenna from the book, Will You Keep Watch With Me? Advent Reflections of Peacemakers, edited by Claire Brown and Michael McRae. Real hope is hard. I confess how hard I find it to open daily to my own pain, let alone my heart open for a hope that's wide enough to envelope Aleppo, Haiti, Don Dale, Manus, Baghdad, Hebron, the Great Barrier Reef, or even just enough hope for reconciliation with those from whom I'm estranged this Christmas. Advent is about real hope, real holiness, waiting in sober silence of hard-fought-for hope, hope that is a fragile gift, hope that daily requires the wrestling open of our hands and hearts to be received, the hope that demands a willingness to feel through the numbness, a willingness to hurt. Real hope is hard. It calls from us a holiness which is not our own. May hope peace our souls with Christ's victorious suffering love that we too might lift our voice in song. Our scripture reading is taken from the gospel according to the author of Matthew, chapter 2, verses 13 to 18. Now after they had left, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up, take the child and his mother, and flee to Egypt, and remain there until I tell you, for Herod is about to search for the child to destroy him. Then Joseph got up, took the child and his mother by night, and went to Egypt, and remained there until the death of Herod. This was to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Out of Egypt I have called my son. When Herod saw that he had been tricked by the wise men, he was infuriated, and he sent and killed all the children in and around Bethlehem who were two years old or under, according to the time that he had learned from the wise men. Then was fulfilled what had been spoken through the prophet Jeremiah. A voice was heard in Ramah, wailing and loud lamentation, Rachel weeping for her children. 
she refused to be consoled because they are no more. Listen to what the Holy Spirit is telling us today. So it is already Advent, no? Malapit na ang Pasko, and for our Advent uh, sermon series, our preaching series for Advent, we are using the book "Will You Keep Watch with Me?" Um, Advent Reflections of Peacemakers, edited by Claire Brown and Michael McRae. And for today, we are looking at the reflection of uh, Jared, Jared Makina. So Jared opened his reflection by saying that hope is hard. And for me, para sa akin, um, hindi, lang, hindi lang hard, hindi lang mahirap ang, ang hope. It may also seem meaningless and useless in the face of uh, suffering and pain. You know, Minsan, ewan ko kung naranasan nyo na yun, na pag, pag uh, nasa gitna ka ng, ng something na problema o pinagdadaanan something na na uh, challenging sa iyong buhay para ang hirap ma conceptualize or maramdaman o maisip yung pag-asa hence in saying that hope is hard Jared lists places where there is great suffering naglista siya ng mga lugar na merong matinding paghihirap which perhaps Jared was able to witness, uh, visit and witness such places that had uh, or continues to have great human suffering. But Jared also invites us to see that hope remains hard even when you are relatively comfortable. No, minsan mahirap pa din. Kahit, kahit na wala tayo dun sa sitwasyon ng matinding uh, kahirapan o matinding suffering minsan mahirap pa din yung hope no in the face in the face of uh, family relationships that was cut off uh, many years ago because of abuse or trauma um, continuing to continuing to hope may seem not only difficult but also painful when you are a young gay man a young gay boy or a young lesbian uh, girl, or when you are young and transgender, and you are trapped in a home that is conservative, Christian conservative, um, which threatens your mental health and perhaps th uh, also puts your overall safety at risk. Hope may remain difficult or meaningless in the face of loneliness during Christmas, during this Christmas season. Um, minsan mahirap yung pag-asa pag mag-isa ka at nakakaranas ka, nakakaramdam ka ng uh, loneliness, ng pag-iisa. Um, and this is especially true for the elderly. For some uh, elderly folks who are now uh, living by themselves or are in the... Uh, Home for the aged. Loneliness perhaps worsened by the isolation and limitations imposed by this pandemic. Diba? Lalong mas, mas nagiging mahirap yung loneliness ng Pasko because mas lalo tayong naging restricted ngayong merong pandemic. And But even when you are comfortable, um, Mahirap pa din, no? And lalo ngayon, mahirap dahil marami sa ating mga kababayan. So, so hope, hope is even more difficult because some of our um, kababayans experience uh, devastation, the devastation of the typhoons. So, napakahirap nung pag-asa pag ikaw ay sumisigaw ng saklolo mula sa... Um, mula sa bubungan ng iyong bahay at wala at para bang walang nakakarinig sa iyong paghingi ng saklolo and your home is submerged in flood waters 
But even when you are comfortable and unaffected by COVID or by the ty- by Typhoon Rolly and Typhoon Ulysses, you may still have felt hopeless witnessing the devastation, destruction of property, loss of life, and with them, the ill-preparedness and incompetence of the highest government official. So even if hindi ikaw mismo yung nakaranas nung COVID or nung uh, mga bagyo, nakakaramdam pa rin tayo ng kawalan ng pag-asa dahil na we witness natin, na we witness mo yung yung nangyari sa ating mga kababayan at na we witness natin yung parang kakulangan ng ating mga matataas na opisyal sa gobyerno. And this is not to mention the countless and unending cases of corruption and killings in our country. How do we make sense of hope? Is it even worthwhile? I have often given focus on the historical fact that when Jesus was born some 2,000 years ago, the world actually did not change much. When Jesus was born, most of the world never knew about him. When Jesus was born, Rome continued to occupy and oppress not only the Jewish people, but many peoples that were subjugated by their empire. The Christmas story, according to Matthew, tells us that when Jesus was born, uh, Herod the Great ordered the slaughtering of male children under the age of two years old, thinking, thinking that he might that he will be able to get rid of the prophesied Messiah by doing what the Pharaoh did many many centuries ago. And long after Jesus got nailed to the cross and was raised from the dead. As the four Gospels tells us, and as our faith affirms, Rome continued to crucify and torture people. The social and religious system continued to cause suffering among the people. Majority were still poor and exploited. Many social and religious customs continued to exclude and ostracize people. Women were still treated as objects to be raped and to be used. And 2,000 years after, and even when Christianity um, has become a dominant religious institution and culture in the world, things have almost remained the same, only with a different face, and now having a much bigger and global scope. Yet we can also say that many things have changed. Meron din naman nagbago. Many things have changed in the last 2,000 years of human civilization, especially concerning civil rights, democracy, and the overall quality of life for most people. Things shifted and moved even when it took 2,000 or more years. When I was thinking about hope, no, ako yung nag-iisip ng tungkol sa pag-asa dahil Ngayon nga ay Advent. Advent is the season of hope and hoping. And when I was writing this sermon way, way ahead of time, I, I came to the conclusion that when we speak of hope, future, yeah, ano bang naisip natin pag hope? Future. Ba? Pag tuwing-tuwing iisipin natin o tuwing ipipreach ang hope, ang, 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 ang hugot nito palagi ay yung nasa hinaharap something in the future a vision of better days and better times to come and okay lang din naman yon although it is not always the best description and the best way to explain hope when persons or groups are in the midst of suffering we often define hope in relation to believing things will change for the better sooner or later. And I do confirm that oftentimes people and situations do change. But when you are in the middle of a storm, a crisis, or imminent danger, we, we really cannot see hope 
we really cannot see hope or a vision of the future. We might even feel painfully offended. Minsan mararamdaman mo parang, parang nakaka-offend pa nga. When someone tells us in the middle of our struggle to keep on hoping. So how do we make sense of hope? How do we continue to hope in the midst of this pandemic and of the several typhoons that came to our country? Para sa akin, for me, we have to turn towards movement. Movement. Look at and analyze the movement or the actions we are taking or about to take. Perhaps a spark of hope can be ignited from moving. Ang pag-asa ay nasa pagkilos o paggalaw. Hope is found in constant movement, no matter how slow or how long it takes. I have a feeling of hope, nagkakaroon ako ng pakiramdam ng pag-asa, when I feel that there is movement. There is movement to step, there is, there is movement, and when there is movement, moving forward. Even, sa, even when sometimes the movement is to step back, for a while, and then move forward again. As long as, there is, as long as there is onward movement, even if we don't feel it, or even if we don't feel it right now, basta't merong pagkilos, may movement forward, hope is there. Andyan ang pag-asa. And movement only happens. Ang, ang pagkilos ay nangyayari lamang when individuals, peoples, and communities decide to move, to take action, to speak up, to do art, to make music or sing, to speak poetry and tell stories, to participate in ritual. When you finally cry or laugh, even for a moment, when you are finally able to verbalize your pain, pag, pag, kaya mo nang, uh, pag kaya mo nang ikwento ang trauma mo, pag kaya mo nang ikwento ang mga nararamdaman mo, there is movement. When you can verbalize your pain and your suffering. When someone continues to go through the motions of daily life, even as he, she, or they continue to carry their grief and their pain with them, when we are able to verbalize our difficulty to forgive, pagkaya na, natin, pagkaya na nating sabihin na nahihirapan tayo magpatawad, then forgiveness is possible. Maybe not now, but maybe someday. When you are able to take small concrete steps or actions to change your situation or condition, even when some of those steps, even if some of those steps will sometimes fail or prove to be an error, yet you never give up. You still take another step or a different way. When you are able to make small and slow yet positive changes in your life, in your life, and in your communities, the communities and the networks that you are a part of. We have hope because there is movement. No, back in March, uh, there was so much fear and panic and confusion. Nag-start ang, ang, ang ECQ at ang lockdowns. Um, no one knows anong mangyayari in the succeeding weeks and months. And indeed, maraming shit na nangyari. There's a lot of shit that happened in our country and in our world. Yet despite the continuing problems of poverty, corruption, and violence, hope is still present. Andiyan pa rin yung pag-asa. Hope is still present because people continue to push forward. To push forward and evolve 
People continue to push forward and evolve in better and best ways of living, even as there are those who are also pushing back, pushing back to maintain oppressive and unjust systems. Many people continue to move, to move forward, and even to fight. And now, andito na tayo. We are almost at the end of the year. And at the end of this year, going to the end of this year, we witness our American sisters, brothers, and siblings being able to vote out, being able to vote out Donald Trump. To move is to resist. To move is to resist being enslaved by our sorrow, pain, or, or despair. In short, hope is there when people try and make even the smallest of efforts individually and together. Therefore, hanggat may pagkilos, hanggat gumagalaw tayo, ang pag-asa ay naririto at nagiging totoo. Movement, movement, pagkilos gives hope, hands, and feet. When Christ was born, the hope that he gave was not that things will change with the snap of his hands, just like, just like Thanos. No, nung, nung pinanganak si Kristo, ang pag-asang kanyang ibinibigay ay hindi naman that all of a sudden, in a snap, in a snap, everything will change. In the face of terror and death, Hope was in the fact that the Holy Family moved and journeyed to Egypt for safety. Hope was when they journeyed back home to Nazareth when the tyrant king was already dead. Hope became present and real because God, through Jesus, chose to move from heaven to earth. And to become one, uh, to become, to be with us, and to become like us, to journey with us, and to share in all of our human brokenness and woundedness. Ang pag-asa ay nagiging totoo ng ang Dios ay piniling maging kaisa natin at maglakbay na kasama natin. Hope was not only in the person of Jesus. But in the fact that Jesus moved from place to place to preach and to heal, to proclaim and to denounce, to welcome and to invite those who were hopeless. Hence, scholars, biblical scholars, New Testament scholars, and his historians call the first or the earliest years of Christianity, the first 50 to 100 years, as the Jesus movement. No, yun yung tawag sa mga Kristiyano for the first 50 to 100 years. It was called, uh, scholars, call it, scholars call it as the Jesus movement. The Jesus movement. Hope was real, not just in the coming of the Holy Spirit during Pentecost, but in the fact that after Pentecost, the followers of Jesus moved out. Moved out and moved throughout the empire, establishing communities in many places and many cities in the Roman Empire, and inviting people to a different way of living and believing, even when it, they are under threat of persecution and martyrdom. Hope becomes concrete and present in the midst of all tragedies because God journeys with us. God journeys with us and through the people that we encounter along the way, the strangers we encounter, and even the people that we will lose along the way. If you will look at your life before, kung, kung babalikan nyo yung buhay nyo, uh, 
one year, two years, or many years ago, meron bang isipin ninyo, ano yung mga naging hakbang niyo, Ano yung naging movement ninyo? What has been your movement and difficulties and failures? Ano yung mga yon? And, there, and, and what were the, the, the periods of pain that you had that you eventually over, na, na overcome nyo? Eventually. By taking one step at a time. By continuing to move forward even if you need to move backward and then move forward again. How did you move? How, how, what was the steps that you took? Who were the ones moving and journeying with you? Jared tells us that Advent, that Advent hope is about real hope. Hope that is fought for. Pag-asa na inalalaban. Hope that we wrestle with. Something that we continually, something that continually causes us to shift. Knowing that the incarnate God, God becoming flesh, moves with us, in us, and through us. We then begin to see hope and feel hope differently from the old way that it has been presented. Hope becomes a present thing. Hope then becomes the fearful yet courageous willingness to move through the hurt and pain because as Jared says, this hope is not our own. Ang pag-asang ito ay hindi sa atin at hindi sa atin ang gagaling. This hope is embedded embedded in the movement and is actually from God. Pag-asang pagmamayari ng Diyos at nagmumula lamang sa Diyos. As we come to terms with everything that has happened so far uh, in this pandemic, in each of our personal lives, witnessing the typhoons, or even the uh, eruption of Taal uh, early this year, my hope is that my hope is that your hope will be found in the ways in the ways that each of us that each of you are willing to move the ways that you are willing to move through the challenges and struggles we are still going to face to hope is not to wait in vain although in our movement from time to time we rest from time to time, we stop. For even Jesus stopped to rest and pray and have a meal with his friends. But only so that he can move and travel further the next day. So the real and simple question for today, in this first Sunday of Advent, the first and real question about hope, is what are the what what are the, what are the steps and actions you are doing to move to shift and to change your situation and your condition who are the people who are helping you to move to change and to shift your situation and your condition in what ways are you helping others in what ways are you helping others to also change their difficult situation or condition? In closing, I want to draw our attention to the animated movie that most of us, if not all of us, uh, really love. You know, Finding Nemo. You know, I really like that, that, that feel-good, it's, it's a feel-good uh, animated movie Finding Nemo In the face of scary pathways unknown regions of the ocean in the face of sharks and all other 
uh, predators, we follow Dory's advice. No matter how reluctant or scared we are, we follow Dory's advice. Keep on swimming. Keep on swimming. As Dory kept on swimming with Marlin in search of his son Nemo, so is Christ. Can you imagine Jesus Christ as Dory in your life? So as Dory kept on swimming with Marlin in search of his son Nemo, so is Christ with us in our journey and in our pain. In our searching, even if we don't know how or where or where we are going, where life will take us, the hope of Advent and Christmas is found in our shared movement. In our shared movement. We keep swimming together. We keep moving. Amen. Open Table MCC is a progressive, ecumenical, and LGBTQI plus affirming church community. We have continued our ministry for LGBTQI plus persons even through the pandemic. We remain true to our mission offering and maintaining a safe space for queer people as well as the proclamation of the gospel message of inclusive love. We know that all of us locally and around the world have been heavily impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic in many and different ways. Certainly, Open Table MCC has also been affected by this pandemic. By the grace of God through the generosity of many individuals and groups, Open Table Church has survived the past eight months. Despite our own challenges as a church community, the general funds of the church and donations of friends and allies, we were able to give some relief and assistance to some communities in Rodriguez Rizal, Pili Camarines Sur, and Mercedes Camarines Norte. We wanted to express our gratitude to everyone who continued to volunteer, participate, attend, serve, and those who consistently shared their financial resources to Open Table MCC. The pandemic is not over, and at the beginning of the lockdowns last March, Open Table MCC has been financially impacted. 65% of our operational and ministry funds comes from our Holy Union or Wedding Ministry. We lost this percentage of funds because of the pandemic and also affected our ministry for LGBTQI plus couples who wish to solemnize their relationship. Even as we have been blessed by some members, 
friends and allies for the past months. We continue to ask for financial support to anyone and everyone who has some resources to share in order to guarantee that our community and ministry does not close or stop. Only if you trust Open Table MCC and believe in our ministry do we encourage you to give and share. The offerings, pledges, or donations you share with us ensures that Open Table MCC will continue serving the larger community and offering a safe space for our queer siblings. Should you give? These are the banking and transfer information for our church. If you'll be depositing or transferring your offering, donation or pledge to us, please send us a clear photo or a copy of the deposit slip or transaction with the date and amount information. Please email it to us at ministry at opentablemcc.ph. If you believe in Open Table Church and the ministry we do, we also encourage you to prayerfully consider making a monthly pledge which really helps our community and our ministry. Thank you. God bless you and be with you and your loved ones always. Open Table MCC is also looking for committed volunteers for our church community that has a welcoming ministry for the LGBTQIA. We're looking for singers, musicians, writers, graphic artists, and video editors who can help us grow our online ministry in our current time of pandemic. Simply go to opentablemcc.ph slash volunteer to view our volunteering opportunities. Thank you and God bless. Sumenyo ang Panginoon. Ilingap ang inyong puso at isipan sa Panginoon. Magpasalamat tayo sa Panginoon nating Diyos. Dakilang may lika na puspos ng pagmamahal at awa. Ang iyong pag-ibig, kami ay nilikha mo sa iyong wangis, babae, lalaki, bakla, lesbian, transgender, intersex, queer, itim, puti, at kayumanggi. Lahat ng gender, sexuality, at lahat ng kulay at hugis, at pagkakaiba. Kaming lahat ng ay nilikha mo sa wangis mo. Kaya naman, kimay nagpapasalamat at nagpupuri sa kabutihan ng pag-ibig mo. Ngunit ngayong kami ay nababalot ng lagim sa pandemya na salanta ng bagyo dahil sa pagkawasak ng aming kalikasan at pagkagapo sa kadena ng kawalan ng katarungan. Hilumin mo kami at bigyan ng pag-asa habang malugod na nagaantay sa pagparitong muli ni Yeso Kristo. Minsan nagkatawang tao at sa amin ay nagkandili. Sa aming pigati at pag-aantay, nawa ang bawat kilos namin at salita ay maghayag ng panalangin sa kanyang itinuro sa amin. Yeah. 
Noong gabi bago siya nagpakasakit at ipako sa krus, kasama ang kanyang mga alagad at pamilya, ang lahat ng kanyang minamahal, kanyang kinuha, ang tinapay, itinaas niya ito at nagpasalamat. Binasbasan, pinaghati-hati at ibinigay sa kanila at nagwika. Kunin niyo ito at kanin. Ito ang aking katawan na ibibigay sa inyo at para sa lahat. Tuwing pagkasaluhan niyo ito at kakanin, ang aking tanging hiling, gawin niyo ito sa pag-aalala sa akin. Matapos ang hapunan, kinuha niya ang saro ng puno ng alak at tinaas ito, nagpasalamat at binasbasan, pagkatapos ay nabot sa kanyang mga alagat at sinabing, Kunin niyo at inumin, ito ang saro ng aking dugo na ibubuhos para sa inyo at sa lahat, ang aking buhay na binubuhos para sa katapuran ng lahat ng kasalanan. Sa tuwing ito'y inyong pagkasaluhan at iinumin ang aking tanging hiling, gawin nyo ito sa pag-aalala sa akin. Panginoong Diyos, aming dalangin, iyong ibuos ang Espiritu Santo sa mga biyayang ito at sa mga tinapay at inumin sa oras ng aming pagkakatipon sa ang mangdako. Naroon ang bawat isa sa amin, upang elementong yaon ay aming maging katawan at dugo ni Yesu Kristo para sa ipapakinabang namin. Para sa amin, ang mga ito ay naging tinapay ng buhay at inumin ng pagpatawaran ng pagkakaisa. Ngayon din naman, puspusin mo ng Espiritu Santo ang bawat isa sa amin na nagkakatipon sa pagsamba at pananampalataya upang kami rin ay maging katawan ni Kristo naglilingkod sa mundong uhaw sa pagmamahal. Dakilang mahilika, sa kumunyon na ito aming tinataas ang iyong lahat ng simbahan, community at ministry ng, ng Metropolitan Community Churches, sa buong mundo, lalong-lalo ng aming munting simbahan, ang Open Table MCC. Basbasan mo at protektahan ng aming mga members, mga leaders at mga kaibigan sa advokasya. Sa kabila ng aming pagkaiba-iba at pag, mga pagkukulang, Patuloy mo pa rin kaming pinagkaisahin sa iyong pag-ibig. Aming lalapit sa inyo ang aming mga panalangin. Panalangin para sa aming mga sarili at sa aming mga mahal sa buhay. Dingin mo at hilumin ang mga hinagpis ng aming puso. Gayon din ang iyong pagtanggapin ang lahat ng aming tasasalamat at galak. Kami rin ay nananalangin kasama at para sa buong mundo, lalong-lalo na sa lahat ng paghihirap at tigati na dulot ng pandemic na ito. Kami ay nagkakaisang magdarasal para sa lahat ng mga nasalanta ng bagyo sa, ta sa taong ito. Para sa lahat na nagdurusa dahil sa gera, kahirapan, pangaapi, pagpatay at pagwasak ng aming kalikasan. Inilip namin ang lahat ng aming mga panalangin, kaugnay sa lahat ng mga panalangin ng banal, propeta, mga martir, ng may nag-aisang pag, 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 pagtawag sa pangalan, Neso Kristong Emmanuel, Diyos na kasama ka namin.
Ang MCC ay nagpraktis ng isang bukas na hapag or open communion. Ang ibig sabihin nito ay hindi kayo kailangan naging member ng MCC or kahit ano pang simbahan para makakumunyon na kasama namin. Ang lahat ay welcome. Lumapit kayo bitbit ang inyong mga kalungkutan at pagdududa. Lumapit kayo bitbit ang inyong mga pangarap at minimithi. Sino man kayo at ano man ang inyong pinanggalingan, lumapit kayo at tatanggapin ang pag-ibig at ugapala ng Diyos kay Kristong Jesus. Naway gabayan kayo ng katawan ni Kristo sa anumang inyong mga naramdaman ngayon. Tandaan ninyo, si Kristo lang ang ating pag-asa at ang ating sandigan. naway maging kalakasan ninyo ang dugo ng ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo sa inyong pakibaka at pakipaglaban sa pandemyang ating kinakaharap sa panahong ito.
May God grant your heart the eyes and ears to see and hear the hope that is found in the movement of your life, the life of others, and the hope that journeys toward what is good, loving, and holy. Amen. Go and bring hope to others.